Namaste. Today in this video we are going to discuss about knowledge representation. Okay. So first of all, let us understand about components of AI. Okay. So learning. Okay. Perception. And here it is knowledge base. Okay, KB is knowledge base and reasoning. Okay, and from here, planning. Okay, and it is execution so okay so these are the component of ai or it is also known as ai cycle it is knowledge base reasoning learning perception planning and execution Okay, the so knowledge base is the set of sentence in a formal language where declarative approach is to build an agent and account it what it needs to know. Okay, then it asks itself what to do so that answer or response should follow from the knowledge base. Knowledge representation or KR, okay, knowledge representation is also known as KR. KR is one of the vital component of AI. Okay, knowledge representation is used in knowledge base, and it can be expressed in figures. Okay, in figures it can be expressed in terms of knowledge base. Okay, knowledge is represented in knowledge base, and that process is known as knowledge representation. So, perception component helps the system to get information from environment. Yes, we are. Uh, known in agent chapter agent system must then form a meaningful and useful representation of perceived environment where knowledge base may be static or may be coupled with learning components that means when a uh, agent perceive the environment then it has to record the events or knowledge okay and that may be static or coupled with learning component so that it can learn the environment okay knowledge revision and reasoning are tightly coupled components yes, these two are tightly coupled component and knowledge is defined as concept of understanding of a subject area of a given domain knowledge can be classified into five types okay they are declarative knowledge structural knowledge heuristic knowledge okay these are the types of knowledge procedural knowledge so let us draw the figure for it knowledge can be classified into five types so i am writing Pentagon okay so this is knowledge and its types are okay procedural knowledge declarative knowledge meta knowledge heuristic knowledge structural knowledge okay so procedural knowledge first let us discuss about procedural knowledge it describes how to do things as well as provides a set of direction how to perform the given work okay that means procedural means algorithm okay? procedural wise that means after this step this steps comes this is called procedural knowledge okay just as example how to make tea how to make cheeseburger 
yes we follow the steps for making coffee tea etc so that is procedural knowledge and let us discover discuss about declarative knowledge so it is it describes object instead of process and we what the situation is about it does not discuss about the steps but it discuss about the object instead of process and what the situation is about just as example it is windy today okay let us move to the meta knowledge meta knowledge it is the knowledge about knowledge that is understanding of a given domain can draw various knowledge from a single statement various knowledge can be defined okay that is meta knowledge just as example the knowledge about the blood pressure is more vital for diagnosing a medical condition than skin color yes so blood pressure provides more information about many diseases yes the so next is heuristic knowledge okay so it is also referred as rule of thumb okay and is empirical and opposed to deterministic okay so let us know about its example if i start seeing shop then i am close to the market from a single statement we draw a single conclusion that is called heuristic knowledge if i am seeing the market then i must be near to the sorry if i am seeing the shops and then we must near to the market okay that is heuristic knowledge next one is structural knowledge it describes structure and their relationship that how they are combined or composed with each other okay so how the various part of the computer fit together structural means it defines the structure of the system with its component okay how the body parts are combined in our body so it is structural knowledge and there is various method to represent knowledge and choosing proper representation method is important as it helps in reasoning because knowledge is power of drawing conclusion in given domain so facts are building blocks unit of knowledge which gives in declarative knowledge a proposition is considered as fact which is the statement which express truth value either true or false but not both the such p it is windy okay so it is a proposition that may be true or false but not both in facts can be classified as single valued or multi valued uncertain facts fuzzy facts okay so single valued or multi valued facts so that means each facts or attributes can take one or more than one value at the same time that means a person may have one hair color but many cards one value or multi valued okay next one is uncertain facts it represents uncertain information that is it will probably rain today that is uncertain facts yes that may occur or may not occur and for the facts they can ambiguous they are ambiguous facts used to represent unclear description and use certainty factor value to specify value of part just as example i am heavy or light heavy what does it means that means there is no clear information about it about weight or about stats okay or about knowledge i am heavy okay so heavy defines many other information which is unclear okay and rules okay so we have discussed about facts so including facts we discuss about rules facts are available and rules are used to use the facts and draw conclusion okay so rules so rules are the next form of knowledge representation 
that relates some known information to other information that can be contradict or informed to the tree rule consists of two component they are if part and then part that is also known as this is also known as antecedent or premises okay antecedents or premises and then part is known as consequent or conclusion this example if it is raining then i will carry an umbrella okay so if part and then part rule consists of two part if part and then part so rules can be compound rules okay compounded that means number of rules are combined together if it is raining and i have an umbrella then i will go to home that means different types of conjunction disjunction are used to combine two or more than two statement in a rule that is called compound rule okay so in next video we will be discussing about logic okay thank you and bye bye